Hello, my name is Stephen Carr, and I'd like to welcome you back to our SketchUp cooking class with our terrain model. We've um, I've did a little bit of work while the session was off, and just completed my sidewalks. I'm going to uh, just create a line here, going in the blue axis for say 100 feet. It's an arbitrary number, it's just you just want this to be above so that when you're working with it, you can get underneath it. If you're down too low, it gets a little hard. So I'm just going to move my template or my layout or whatever you want to call this to the top of that line. And I'm doing this to the top of the line so that everything will line up. So when I drape this, it will be in the right position when it's down in the bottom. So we're going to use um, our different tools. We can start with the stamp tool. With the stamp tool, we can set the foundation for our, our salt box house, for our gazebo. We can also do our water features with it. And then the drape tool, we will do the sidewalks around it. So first I need to select my the base where my house is going to be. And I click on my stamp tool. And you can see that it has a border on it. I've changed my border to be set to one inch. So that means it won't be a real big offset. So I click on here. And now I'm just going to just go down so I can see how high I'm bringing it. I just want to bring it up a little bit. It doesn't have to be a lot. Just enough to keep water out of the uh, basement area. So I just zoom back previous. So now I need to do the same thing for my gazebo. So I select my gazebo, click on my stamp tool, and then I can click here. And again, I'll just zoom in, and I'm just trying to just bring it up just a little bit. And that's looking quite good. There's an extent here. I can work with my water feature now. With the water feature, you start from the outside because it only will take a rectangular shape. You can't just take that outline. So I will just click into that area, click on my stamp tool. And I'll just, again, I just want to bring it up just a little bit. Now I select the second area. Click on my stamp tool. And I would like to bring that up a little bit as well. And then I complete it by clicking on the inside. And this one I'm going to push down. Again, it doesn't matter how far. This is just a model. Nobody's really going to check it, see what we've actually done. So now I'm going to try my little fountain or my water feature in the front. Just bring that up just a little bit. Or I could even bring it up a little bit more. This probably would have a little bit of height to it. Okay, I might be having problems because it might be picking the same area.
Maybe that was just a little bit too much. Okay. Okay, I think what the problem is here is that uh, SketchUp does not like us to do and undo things, and I've kind of gone back and forth, so I may be losing the ability to work with this part of it. I'll try it one more time, and if it doesn't work, then I'm just not going to worry about it. There we go. I got it. Okay, so basically I've got that part done. Now I need to work with my drape tool. So I will try to select my pathway. So I'm going to have to try to get rid of some of the areas. Okay, I selected the path for the uh, walkway. Now I'm going to use my drape tool. And it's looking good. I can see that I have a few little areas where I have some holes. So I have to edit my terrain model because I have to add a, a layer for water and a few things like that. So I'm just going to go into here and... With my pencil tool, I'm just going to go over to this corner here and add a line. And if I... If I select this area... You can see that it selects not too bad. So I need to do a move copy here. So it says move copy. And I'm going to do this in the blue axis. Just hold shift to lock it. I want to do the same thing in the pool. I'll select this. Do a move copy. And then that gives me that area here. So I'm going to uh, end the session now because we'll finish it off on a new session.